All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Uh, real quickly, before we start the video, I'm going to be shooting the Zoo City Armory on the 2nd of September. And then uh, the big boy behind me, the VR80, has finally started coming to life. I uh, figured out I was running the 1300 Super Sports, AA Super Sports, uh, 1300 feet per second, and it was just too much for the lightweight gas ring or block to handle uh not handled but it was blowing back way too fast okay and it was just overriding so what it would do is it would fire and skip around i'd have to hand rack it i started thinking to myself being the ar dude that i am i was like you know what i wonder if this guy is just overgassed it's reached that point where it's actually broken in and you know there's there's a reason why to give two gas blocks with the thing uh so i put some 11 45 lightweight target loads through it 50 rounds without a single hitch. So I'm really excited about it because that was a, just when you have a shotgun that's not working and you know you have, oh, I don't know, five more stages to go, it can really ruin your day. All right, let's talk about this real quickly because this is an interesting subject that we touched on yesterday. We're talking to uh, John Crump and Flying Rich is this uh, airplane crash over there in uh, Russia. Uh, Wagner chief, uh, Prigozhin, presumed dead in plane crash that is no kidding and and i'm not just necessarily talking about the plane crash but i want to talk about the similarities of the way putin operates and the way that maybe joe biden operates okay they're all both you know oh, i don't know what's going on uh and i think that joe biden really doesn't know what's going on but the people that are around him that support him that are have their hand up his ass telling him what to say when he's not sleeping or demeaning the people in Maui, right? Uh, so what happens? Uh, when you cross uh, Vladimir Putin, right? I don't care. You just know it's a matter of time. You just know it's a matter of time. And this guy flew out of Moscow. Uh, and for some reason, after uh, being hit with a an A300, as somebody said, uh, it miraculously just uh, had a malfunction and crashed and killed him, I guess, with a long of 10 people. I haven't really read the news on it. But this is the world we live in where uh, tyrants who are in charge will use whatever means necessary to take out their opponents. Hence, I'm talking about the way the Democrat Party, i.e. also led by the one and only Joe Biden, are taking out their number one opponent, which is Donald Trump. Now, listen, I'll be the first one to tell you, I am not an extreme fan of Donald Trump. As a matter of fact, I love his policies. But I just wish the guy would grow up. He's not big on the gun scene either, you as well, you know, okay? Uh, but his policies are pretty good. You know, open energy. Let's go ahead. Make people, put people to work. Uh, quit trying to tell people. The, the, the policies that are being pushed by the Democrats and the Biden administration are just that, that that are opposite of what we as Americans, and I'm sorry if you voted for him or you still believe in him, this is, hey, man, I'm sorry. I really am, because if you're gullible enough to believe what this guy's pushing, <laughs> Bidenomics, are you kidding me? So when you have uh, Vladimir Putin, who decides he's got an enemy, this guy's an enemy, you know, he, he decided he was going to go into Moscow and take the place over. So that's naturally an enemy of Vladimir Putin. So when you have an enemy of someone like Joe Biden, well, they're going to take him out. And they're going to use the DOJ. Might not be hitting them with missiles, but you're going to use this lady down there in Georgia. You're going to use the the guy Smith. He's even got the guy, this Weiss guy, uh, who's friends with his buddy, his son Bo. I guess somehow miraculously became the special counsel of the guy that's looking into the investigation on Hunter Biden. Now I know YouTube; they're going to see hear the words Hunter Biden, which is the reason why after my Hunter Biden video I did, everything seemed to just go to downhill from there. Uh, typically 1,500 to two or 3,000 subscribers a month to 12. How about that? They've essentially shut me down, the enemy of the state, I say. So anyway, the current administration has weaponized the DOJ just like Putin weaponized his military to take out his political opponent. So very short video, right? It's just the things that I think of these days, and it's not far. If this continues what is going on in our country, we will see ourselves as slaves to the Democrats, okay? Don't you worry about a thing. The Democrats will take care of you. And by the way, all you people who didn't go to college, if this college loan thing, did it go through? Hell, I don't know. If the college loan forgiveness that he's trying to work around, Thank you for paying for all those guys their student loans because it's just going to make Bidenomics work so much better. With that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below, man. A real quick video. 
uh, it, it concerns me that what they're doing right now is absolutely disgusting. Okay. Uh, also, while you're at it, let me know who won, in your mind, who won that debate last night. I fell asleep about halfway through. Uh, all I could do is watch the reviews. But that being said, guys, call it like you see it. A tyrant is a tyrant. It's KB32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform. 24 7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Y'all be good. Don't forget to check out the uh, old, uh, what do you call it? The thing, the campfire down below for some pretty cool deals. Y'all be good. I am out of here. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha.